Bob's Visit is an unaired episode of the classic animated sitcom family entertainment series, The Simpsons. There have been fan-made episodes reusing clips from older episodes of it, and they've been edited with Sony Vegas Pro the way a person on YouTube would do it to try to fool people into thinking it was an actual episode. However, it is stated to be a lost episode, which is a lie, as it was never made by Fox. Or was it? Because it was aired person who made this episode might have hijacked Fox and made it air. Could be, could be, could be, could be, could be. Ruining a lot of reputations and making the episode 100% unforgettable. You, 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 you know, you know, you know, you know that show on, on, on Fox called The Simpsons. You do, don't you? It's one of the longest running shows in America, right up there with Meet the Press and Bob Newhart. And uh, Alan Gregory. However, there was that one time that Fox accidentally aired an episode that was never supposed to be aired on the, on the on the boop tube. It only aired once. It didn't repeat later on that day either, like the show usually does. No, this episode was extremely mean spirited, and worse than any other bad episode of the show. I'm not just talking. Oh, a uh, poo hurts my feelings because. Uh, because I, I eat a hot dog with a slushy slurpy hot dog straw slurpy, I eat, I eat out of the garbage. I eat out of the garbage. Yeah, this episode alone shocked the viewers for life who watched this episode. Fox was flooded with complaints that this episode was terrible with all of the terrible content in it. Very few people remember it. Never got to go on YouTube due to copyright reasons. If you managed to tape this episode when it aired, shame on you. You consider yourself lucky. But whatever you do, don't post it on YouTube or the boogeyman will get you. And by that I mean your account will be suspended due to a copyright claim from the Fox people. And you wouldn't want that now, would you? <coughs> Bill O'Reilly... I was about to go home after eating a ham sandwich at an Italian restaurant. When I was going home, I went on my computer and read online about a Simpsons episode that was never released to the public because it was extremely satanic to everyone who loved the program. I wanted to find out more about it, so I started reading the encyclopedia, and I had no luck. I started looking for the original episode. It took me days to find it, but I finally found it on a forum the forum's name was called something on the lines of File Heaven or File Sharing for You with the number four because it was made by a... That means cigarette. I cannot remember because I'm telling this from my mind memory. The file name, on the other hand, was called Simpsons underscore Bob's Visit underscore aired episode dot zip underscore. I downloaded the file onto my computer and then went straight to my downloads on my computer. The .zip file came with two files, a video file called the same name as the .zip file, that's with the extension of the file change to .mp4, and a text document called Read Me Before Watching the TXT. I opened up the text document and it read, What you are about to watch is an episode of The Simpsons that had only aired once in the USA. This episode is incredibly disturbing. Watch at your own risk. You tune ahead. I felt my stomach churn when I read that. What do you mean by tune ahead? And what do you mean by disturbing? Do they mean disturbing like the treehouse of horrors with blood showing? Oh, can't stand the sight of blood. I'm blood phobic. I thought that whoever uploaded this episode on the forum was just making all that up. It was just a joke. Oh boy, was I wrong. Before I started the video, I went back to the forum and read the post for more information where you could download the file, and that's when I found out. The reason why is because it said on the forum that the episode originally aired on September 16, 2001, five days after the September 11th attacks. And for those of you who know your Simpsons, you know that the Simpsons predicted 9-11. 
It was a government conspiracy. It was going to be the first episode of season 13, but not becoming Treehouse of Horror 12, which aired on November 6th. My birthday due to Fox's coverage of the MLB World Series, despite being Halloween themed. However, in November 2009, eight years after the show was removed from the television, someone was walking around a massive pile of rubble which contained a VHS tape with the episode on it. The person who found the tape somehow got the episode off the tape, perhaps using telekinesis, and the user started sharing the episode online. Then the episode blew up, and millions of people downloaded the episode, and they started sharing it to other downloading websites such as Rapid Share, Napster. Unfortunately, the episode and its copies were removed in the time period of four months to the day. No one was able to find the episode or to get their hands on a copy of the episode ever again, as people were charged and fined a large sum of money for sharing the episode to websites that could easily be accessible by the kiddos. I thought that charging people large amounts of money for an episode that's illegal to download is a ridiculous thing that existed back then, but I felt like it was fair because, to be honest, anyone could access a downloading site and download anything they had ever wanted. Even a pony. Anyway, when I started playing the episode, the intro of the episode played. The quality was mediocre, as well as the audio being distorted just a wee little bit. I started to wonder, did the person who found the VHS tape of the video actually make this episode, and why? And the story about that person finding a VHS tape with the episode on it, was that just a lie by the FBI? I had so many questions about the intro quality. I couldn't be bothered to look for a perfect quality version of the episode online. And besides, I like drawing crappy pictures in MS Paint, so how could I blame them? After the intro showed Bart and Lisa at the living room watching television. On the TV, it showed a typical chase scene with Itchy and Scratchy. But the latter got a knife and cut Itchy's tail off. And blood dribbled out, leaving a trail. Scratchy followed the trail to Itchy's mouse hole. He got a buzzsaw to cut the wall and make the mouse hole larger for him to fit. Then a wolf with sharp fangs and claws came in and mauled him in the way of a crazy person. Itchy came back and burned Scratchy's remains while he laughed demonically. As he laughs, the screen went to static. Yikes. After the static went off, it showed Sideshow Bob, much to Bart and Lisa's shock. Sideshow Bob, Hello, Bart. Today I'm going to visit your house. The way he said it was more like, um, uh, you know, like a Jared Fogel type. Terry Sandusky. Bart unplugged the TV with a shy expression and went to his room. The next day, Homer and Marge got a call. The call was from Sideshow Bob, who appeared on the TV. Bart got worried of what Bob was going to do to him. Bob came into the house, grabbed a baseball bat, darts, and even wanted to kill Bart with a freaking train. The parents were petrified of what he was going to do to him. Bob started hitting Bart with the objects they had. Blood was coming from Bart's head. (sighs) Horrified me. And body from the darts. After the baseball bat and darts abuse to Bart, Bob dragged him out of their house and into the train track. I could see where this was going. Bob put explosives around after he tied up Bart to a big wooden cross with a rope. I figured this was some sort of metaphor for how Bart was a sinner and sacrificing himself for the viewing public. Then it happened. The oncoming train was speeding really fast, and when the car was about to hit Bart, the screen went to black. I heard bloody screams, sounds, a loud explosion. I even heard Lisa's crying as well. The scene then cut to static for a few seconds. I got up to go to McDonald's, but I realized it would have taken too long. The episode would have been back by then. It changed to an image of Bart's dead body, drawn photorealistic, followed by a still image of Bob, with bloodshot eyes and blood running from his eyes, with audio that sounded like distorted Egyptian music, and I don't mean walk like an Egyptian. I didn't know what the purpose of that photo was. 
seemed to stay there for around 10 seconds until it cut back to the episode. Then it cut to Homer and Marge crying on the table. The crying didn't sound like cartoon crying. It was realistic crying in pain. Then a slight static sound. And it cut to Bart's funeral. Everything was black and white grayscale instead of colorful. This scene appeared to be based on the season one episode, Bart the General. The camera cut to static again and showed the Simpsons' house. Bob looked demented and was saying, The shadows play with me. He laughed like a demon again. But the strange thing was, the voice really, truly, really, truly sounded like a demon. Bob started to ooze foam from his mouth, and he took an antipsychotic pill. The pill fails to work, of course, and Bob takes out a gun and kills the family cat, Snowball the Second. Marge then yells at Bob, Shut up! And Bob looks straight at her. He says, The shadows shall engulf you, mere mortal. Give praise to them, or perish. And Marge says, <laughs> Whatever, and returns to bed. A time card appears saying 25 past midnight, with a strange sound in the background. Homer and Marge are shown sleeping for nearly a minute. They wake up and see a shadow holding a chainsaw. They scream as the shadow revs up the saw. The screaming was like a real person shouting, not at all like a cartoon. They keep screaming over the sound of the saw. The shadow puts the saw to their body and screams as Homer and Marge are cut up and blood splatters on the wall. And then they died, and the shadow revealed to be Sideshow Bob as he emerged from the parents' door, holding their cartoonishly severed heads. He feasts on it and laughs like a maniac. He then runs to the kitchen and emerges with a pair of knives. He runs to Lisa's room. He screams... Oh, Lisa, come and play with me, as he stabs Lisa repeatedly. Bob then draws a pentagram on Lisa's floor and sacrifices Lisa's corpse. There's literally no sound for the seven-second sacrifice. Bob laughs again and runs to his house. He's seen at a table with the parents' partially eaten heads, brains exposed, and eyeballs hanging out, and says, My beautiful honey. Will you marry me? As Homer's left eye blinks once, revealing he's alive, but slowly suffering and dying. His skin sheds, leaving only muscle and tissues exposed. His facial organs and nerves snap and fall apart, disheveled. His head is now nothing but a pile of random organs, and his eyes blink again. A cut to the black transition shows, and for 30 seconds, Bob is shown kissing, of all things, the pile of organs, and putting a ring on it inside of a church. Bob looks demonic and says to Homer's organs, I am your Lord and Savior, Springfield. Praise me! The episode ends with Bob committing suicide by stabbing himself in the heart. But before that, the entire screen went to static for the rest of the episode. I then deleted the episode off my computer and I never saw it again. The end.